I've been craving from my ex. Jalapenos. Wow, this sauce is so good, guys. First of all, Please tell me. Well, y'all been wondering about my white shirt. It's a mess. My sauce messy. But it's so good. Listen, everybody who ever wants a bite, every single one of you guys who ever wanted a bite, here, take it.
Listen, now go on bad. I'm gonna start acting up right now. I let this sauce sit. Mm-hmm. This crust is so meaty. Oh, guys, I forgot about my muscles. <laughs> take another bite. Somebody say they missed the shot that I take. It's so come back. This sauce, y'all. <laughs> you know, so I'm ready for this now. I'm ready for this. Y'all, mm -hmm. so I always cook my corn in my sauce. So good. Listen, if you can, <clears throat> if you can, cook your seafood yourself, it's cheaper and it'll taste so much better. I do want to get into a topic, and it's pretty much do what you can before you do what you want, as in do the things that you need to do before you do the things that you want to do. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of times we're not born with everything that we we want you know what I'm saying like some of us don't have it like that so y'all the claw is the best meat but my girl it takes a so long to open Jesus 
the class and not today tea. So let's get into the things that we need to do before the things that we want to do. I'm going to use myself as an example, even though this conversation was inspired by a viewer who wrote me. I do have a lot of audience that's in college, so shout out to y'all. You're doing your thing. I'm so proud of all of you. So based on her conversation, she didn't tell me I can share it with you guys, and she didn't tell me I can tell you who it is. So based on her conversation, I'm going to give you and myself an example. When I was in college, I wanted to be a psychotherapist, right? If you know, that takes forever to complete, but I was poor. So even though I got into a really good college, I went to Penn State, I got into a really good college, but it's also really expensive and it was out of state. So I wanted to pursue a career in psychotherapy, but my mom didn't have it like that. So I wanted <laughs> to, to, you know, go the long run and go to school for this um, particular, in this particular field. But on the other hand, I didn't have any money. So within myself, my mom didn't tell me to do this. Within myself, I said to myself, my mom has three other kids. I'm in college. She has to pay $10,000 each semester out of pocket, plus financial aid, plus student loans. I cannot afford to allow my mom to do this. She's willingly do it, but she's struggling while, she, while she's doing it. And I can see how it would take away from my siblings, right? So about two years into it, I said, you know what, mom? I'm going to the military. I'm going to the Marine Corps. So the reason why I came up with this is because I wanted to be a psychotherapist as soon as possible, but I needed money and financial freedom and independence now. And I needed this so I can probably help my mom and help myself. So you see where I'm going there? The things that you need to do versus the things that you want to do. So, you know, my mom was like, she didn't want me to go to the, to the military because she thought, you know, the typical things that parents usually think they want to keep their kids safe but for me I'm just like I have no money um, you know whatever money you have coming in you have all these kids to take care of I cannot I cannot be selfish and I need to gain financial freedom and independence that's what I need at any point in my life I can pursue psychotherapy with the money that I've that I earned right so I had to make a choice so I took my ass to the military and sure enough it was so difficult but I needed to do it I didn't want to do it there were times when my hand is like purple we're in training you know I remember one specific time um, I hurt my finger really bad my finger got caught in the rifle chamber if you ever if you've been in the military, you know what that is. Or if you've handled a weapon, you know what that is. So a rookie handling a weapon, my hand got caught in the chamber. And I knew if I'm hurt, I'm going to get sent back. I knew I needed to get through that as soon as possible. So I could come out, I can help my mom, and I can help myself. And I'm not, I'm not advocating for you to, you know hide when you're hurt I'm just saying there were things that I needed to do so every time there was a struggle throughout that process I figured it out and I moved through it I moved past it because I needed to and then when I was done right I had a lot of opportunities because of that experience I sent myself to school paid myself and I was able to pursue my career, my, you know, my psychology degree. And I was pursuing it, pursuing it. My kids came along the way. And then there were more things that I needed to do versus the things that I want to do. So, you know, I finished that degree and then I'm like, okay, well, I need to do something that I can stay at home with my kids. So a part of needing and wanting is like prioritizing, right? I prioritize the things that I felt that I needed to do now. Now to all of us, those things are different. Um, but I do really want you guys to consider that like I end up on ended up on YouTube because I felt like I needed to be at home with my kids Right, I was working with kids and the thing is too. I didn't even pursue a career um, Psychotherapy anymore because I really found that I love behavioral analysis, right? I love to work with children and to help them so I started to work with kids with autism and and then I realized, well, I have two kids of my own and I would really like to teach them certain things, certain skills that um, can help them in life. 
even if they don't have a disability. You know what I'm saying? So do the things that you need to do. And I feel like the things that you want to do, you, you do it along the way. And to me, that gives me a well-balanced life. So, you know, I don't like to get preachy, but, you know, sometimes doing the things that you need to do is the faster route, actually. You would think it's the longer, but it's faster. Because if you don't got it like that, the things that you want to do is costly. How are you going to get it? Your time is your most valuable currency, and you chose to spend it with me. Thanks. <laughs> Later.